Hey guys, welcome back. This Welcome to video number three of the series, and I say series, indefinite series maybe. Let's go on as long as we want. If you haven't had a chance to watch videos number one and two, I please welcome you to go watch those now. It sort of explains about what I'm doing and why you're only seeing a short video at a time each day when I post them. Now, what we have on today's training, number three is obtaining a domain name. If you haven't, don't know, this is whatever it is, yourwebsite.com. Now before I get too involved in this video, I do want to let you know I have a slight cold. I think my son brought it home from school, so I'm going to try not keep my sniffling, sniffing down to a minimum. I want to apologize if that becomes annoying, uh, but again, work goes on. We got to get moving. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my web browser and I'm going to go to a tool called you can go straight to your web host now I use GoDaddy.com I've been using them for a few years now I know there's some people out there who really dislike this service either it's about the CEO or some of the company policies but I have been using them for a while now their their price is very competitive and I have had absolutely zero problems so that's sort of my reasoning behind it if you have another domain registrar, please feel free to use that. There are more options out there. So what you can do is you can go just search for GoDaddy and bring up their website. And then you find your perfect domain. Now, I've given this thought over the past few days, actually past weeks, about what my domain is. And last night, I looked and I looked myself. That's just to prevent you from having to watch me. Oh, well, what should I do for, what about this option or this option or that option? and I found the website that I want to purchase. Now I did all that research, I haven't bought anything yet, so I'm gonna buy it today with you, but I'm gonna show you real quick, brief breakdown of how I did it. Now you can go here to like GoDaddy and find your domain. Let's just say I want um, paulswebsite.com. You don't have to worry about, don't, don't worry about typing in www or http, excuse me, don't have to worry about that just put in the the website and the extension that's at three digits after the dot or three letters so if you search sorry it's taken so then you can search again that, that pop-up keep up I don't care about that I found it actually a better tool than just going on to a domain registrar and typing search each time let's go back to Google and we're gonna search for instant domain search I found this website the other day great tool what it allows you to do is start typing right away and finding what you want to find so let's try, let's try it again Paul you can notice as I'm typing it's saying it's taken coming up big red I cannot buy this domain someone else has already bought it so Paul's website taken Paul's web taken Paul's webs hey that one's free I don't want it, but that allows you to do it. It's a really quick way to search without having to type that OK. And also beyond that, it gives you some suggestions down here, which is kind of cool. You know, these, I have no idea what Paul, what any of those words are, but maybe you like their paulscheme.com. Hey, I can get that one. paulswww.com. You know, it gives you suggestions of stuff that you can buy, that you uh, different ideas based on what you have typed for domains that are available. So I, I was thinking last night, you know, this this website that I'm uh, building here, it's a business-based website. I can only do it over a short amount of time. So I thought, well, let's search for, I only have about one hour a day to dedicate it. So one hour website, ah, dot com, taken. And then I also looked back at my video and I said, you know, this is my lunch hour that I'm doing it on. So how about lunch hour? web lunchhourwebs.com well lunchhourwebsite.com is good so I, I decided lunchhourweb.com is the way I want to go now this is sort of the way I decided that's the domain I'm gonna going to go with and I'm gonna buy and I'll buy that here in a minute but before I do I want to give you some tips and tricks about stuff that you should or shouldn't do while you're searching for a domain name the first thing is case sensitivity 
is not does not matter. So that doesn't matter if you have Paul Web or Paul Web. Doesn't matter. That is the exact same website on the internet. So you don't have to worry about capitalization or punctuation. Actually, punctuation is not allowed, which means up my next point. Special characters such as and percent uh, at pound sign those are not allowed so you cannot have a website with those in your domain name the only one you can have is a hyphen which brings me up to the next point avoid hyphen do not use hyphens in your domain name now it is possible so I could do launch dash hour dash web dot com and it is available I can buy that the problem with that is you want your domain to be easily spoken and if someone else is buying or going to go to your website you want them you want to be able to explain what it is over a phone or conversation and then not to have to try and remember all these special things about it so for example lunch-hour-web.com it's gonna be harder for someone to remember so when they get to a computer later they can search for they, they remember exactly where those hyphens occur so if you have lunch hour web a lot easier three words put together uh, that's easier for someone to remember the next one keep it simple keep it small keep it short the ideal domain is probably under seven or eight letters long the problem is it is becoming increasingly difficult to find a domain that short so I mean obviously some of the most popular domains in the world are Google Yahoo MSN and so on those all have very very short domain names unless you can find maybe some ZZYK even that was taken uh, ZZJR that was taken <laughs> you know ZRKL M E there you go zircle me that one's free but that's gonna be very hard to explain to people so it's gonna become increasingly difficult that's why I went with lunch hour web and that one's short I mean it's what is that five nine twelve letters long it's not incredibly long it's not incredibly short either it's not ideal but that's something that I could find next if you already have an established business, I'd probably avoid using any organizational names. So for example, let's just say you are Tom's Roofing LLC. I would avoid using that. And excuse me there. The reason is it's just again harder to let people know. So Tom's Roofing Company, Tom's Roofing Co, Tom's Roofing uh, org, Tom's Roofing Corp, you know, whatever you even, whatever, however you have your business set up, I'd avoid using those parts, your business organizational name or title in your domain name. Again, it's just easier to remember Tom's Roofing as opposed to Tom's Roofing LLC. If this, this next one is kind of a hit or miss, uh, point because there are times it is available but I would avoid location based names as well so let's just say you are in Chicago so you go uh, depending on what your business is depending on why you want a website this may or may not be a useful tip but I would avoid it for the most part and here's the reason why let's say you are I don't know you you sell something online and let's say you you sell knitted sweaters. I'm just making something up off the top of my head. If you go with Chicago knitted sweaters, there, bam, it works. Problem is, the people you're selling to, you don't do you really care if they're from Chicago? Do you really care if they're in California or Maine or Florida? Probably not. So what you so putting Chicago knitted sweaters in here, someone stumbles across your site, they may think, well, shoot, that's not around me maybe it does apply to me they may not even go to your site however let's say you have a location based service where you you are attracting visitors so say you are a an attraction let's say apologize that let's say let's say you have Chicago butterfly 
house. Now this might make more sense. You have an attraction where people have to be physically present at your location in order for you to attract customers. You can't do, if you have a butterfly, I don't know, arbolitum or whatever they're called, people have to physically come to your location to visit you. In this case, Chicago Butterfly House might make sense. People are looking this online, they're doing a Google search or Bing search for butterfly, butterfly houses near Chicago, you might rank really highly with this name. And if they're in California, you know you're not going to attract those people unless they're visiting Chicago. So this might make more sense in those sort of situations, but all other businesses, especially ones where you could have customers potentially anywhere in the world, I would advise avoiding location-based names. All right. Just because they are available, I also, avoid, I also suggest avoiding adjectives. Adjectives are like happy, fun, sad, uh, silly. And the reason for that is, let's just say you have Tom's Silly Pete's. Unless that is your company's name, I would avoid using this. And the reason is pretty simple. Again, when you're talking to people, hey, visit my site. It's called Silly Pete's. If that name doesn't mean anything to them, by the time they get home, by the time they get on the computer, they may forget what that adjective is. So they might think, was it was it Silly Pete's? Was it Funny Pete's? Was it uh, Crazy Pete's? You know, that sort of thing. So you want to try and keep avoid anything that's going to cause confusion or cause people to maybe forget or confuse or mi mix up words. The other ones are conjunctions and articles. Now I had to look up these words. I know what the words are, but I didn't actually know what they're called. Don't tell my seventh grade English teacher. Conjunctions and are conjunctions are words like and, but, although, and so on. You want to avoid those in a name again because they they can be confusing and they just add unnecessary length to your domain name. Another one articles are the, and, uh. Those words, again, just increase your domain name length. So you are the law offices of blank, 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 blank. That adds a lot of letters to the beginning of your domain name. And people also tend to forget those words. So they might start looking for law offices or the, you know, they might it's just one of those things that can be easily mistyped, easily forgot. The next one I want to suggest is avoiding possessive names. So let's say your name is Mitch and you want to do Mitch's website. Well, apostrophes aren't allowed, as you know, because special characters are not allowed. So is it Mitch's website? Is it Mitch's website? Is it Mitch website? It gets a little bit confusing there. So if you're telling, it's Mitch's website. If there's any confusion on how to spell it, bad idea, avoid it. Next one are homonyms and, and homophones. And I only really know about what those are called because my son is obsessed with this book called Ant Ant Leaves Through the Leaves. It's a funny little book, but it talks about ant, you know, the type of bug, little black, uh, insect, aunt, which is like your your father or your mother's sister. So aunt, aunt leaves going out the door through the leaves, through the tree leaves. That's the sort of book it's about. It goes on more, I mean, it has a little story behind it, but it's funny. It's filled, chock full of those little words. Now, of course, the problem with those, you say, uh, my love the sun, let's just say. Yeah, my, my website, it's called lovethesun.com. Well, is it Love the Sun or is it Love the Sun? One's available, one's not. Haha. -ha. Unless, unless people know what your website's about, they might not know what word you're actually using. Another common one's 444. Four, four. Obviously, you guys know about that. Okay, sorry about the break there. I, uh, like I said, I have a little bit of cold, but. You guys obviously know about those words that are called homonyms or homophones where two words sound the same but are spelled different and they may even mean different. 
so avoid those when possible. Last but not least, when you finally found your website, always go for .com. You must, no, you must not must. There are plenty of examples of .net, .us, .info, .co, .biz that are successful, but again, most people when they hear your website, they think automatically .com. So if your suggestion is already taken, so let's just use Paul's website. Paul's website .com is taken. However, Paul's site.net, let me see if .net is taken. Not, .net is available. However, when I tell people, go visit Paul's website.com, I'm sorry, go visit Paul's website.net, if I were to purchase this, they still might go to Paul's website.com because that's just one ingrained in our knowledge. At least in my knowledge, most people's knowledge of websites that they go to, they try .com first, get it when possible. If yours is taken, .com is taken, I really suggest you just search for a completely brand new domain name. Do not try to get a different extension. Okay, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a list of this together. I just spoke here for a really long time about what domains to get and what to avoid when choosing a domain name. I'm going to put that in the list as well and put in the resource notes on the website once we have it built. So you guys can download that, you can look at it, and I can also update it if there's anything else from my list that I forgot or I think of anything later. So please head over to the website which is going to be lunchhourweb.com and download it. I will put show notes when I get this video posted online of where exactly to find that. So I just click this link here, buy for 99 cents, and it brings me up to GoDaddy and it says, yes, your domain is available, buy it before someone else does. All right, I'm gonna buy lunchhourweb.com. I can also buy lunchhourweb.us for a dollar. I don't plan on using .us. I don't want to put that on any branding. The reasons you might do this is if you have a really, uh, you're worried about competition mostly. So you found a, a website domain name that you really like and you don't want anybody else to have .net, .com, .web, .org, all these options. You can buy them all together and um, prevent anybody else from picking up something very similar to your own. Now the benefits of that of course is no one else is going to be able to pick up lunchweb, lunchhourweb.net or .org. The problem is it's going to cost you more money. So depending on what, depending on your thoughts on the process, I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to just go lunchhourweb.com, but that might make sense for you. Let's go ahead and select this and let's go ahead and continue to cart. All right, what will you do with your domain name? Making it private. So when you register domain, your name, address, email address, and phone number are, are published for the world to see. Protect yourself from spam and scams with privacy protection. Privacy protection again, if someone were to look up who owns lunchhourweb.com, they might see your personal email address. So protection will hide that from people. I'll go ahead and do this, yeah. Now I'm just going to do this, I'm going to do this, protection, privacy protection. I'm not going to do an easy website builder, um, I'm not going to do an advanced website builder for a dollar or six dollars. I don't like their services, I haven't used much experience with them, but I have another one in mind for where I want to host this website. I'm also not going to purchase email address through GoDaddy as well because there's other vendors out there that I prefer. So I'm not going to say no to that, I'm going to say no to that as well, so let's continue to cart. Ah, uh, no, I do not want free pre email for the first month, no. All right, so now I can choose how long I want to buy it. So the 99 cents the first year, otherwise it's $10 per year every year thereafter. Let me put this up to five, 10 more years as well and pay more money. Now that obviously the, the preference on that is the longer I buy it, the longer I'm gonna own this website. Now, uh, if I only purchase for one year, meaning one year from today, that website, if I don't pay again, it becomes open, someone else can buy it. And if you've built any sort of following on your website, if you're using this for business, you don't want to let it expire and let someone else come in and potentially get your customers because they can buy it 
And then if people are visiting your website, maybe you get a lot of traffic, all of a sudden they're coming to their website and now they're on to something else or new. So find a term that makes sense to you. I'll go and purchase this for two years just to make it a little bit easy. I'm going to do a private and I'm not going to add any other websites. And nope, I'm not going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this. Nope, don't want dedicated IP. Don't want any of this stuff. All right, brings my total to 2732. And I can round up for charity if I want. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's round up for charity. Why not? Uh, true. That's nice. 96%. Simplify. Donors choose. Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, man. I'm going to leave it at the default. Again, guys, please don't. If, if you have one that you prefer, choose one. Uh, Hope for Haiti. I just like that it's 96% of every dollar goes to it. So uh, let's go ahead and choose that. And we'll proceed to checkout. Now, this is where you can put in a new customer, create a new GoDaddy credentials, or if you have a returning customer, obviously, if you have a username and password, you can log in here. I'm going to go and pause right here because this is where you set up your account. It's going to take your name, address, and so on, as well as your credit card. So I'm going to pause here while I get this domain filled out, all this form filled out. And I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, just finished purchasing lunchourweb.com. You can see I created it on 5-23-2016. What I'm going to do next is I don't want, I'm not going to do anything to it. I went ahead and brought up my domain details here and got out of the screen that, that listed in any of my personal information. And we'll be ready to take the next steps here shortly once we decide on a domain registrar. But at this time, I'm done using uh, GoDaddy. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and exit out of Instant Domain. So where I want to go to next is domain name has been purchased. Now, if you'll notice, just because I purchased a domain name, if I go to lunchourweb.com, Nothing's going to come up. It does say, uh, well, actually remembered me, uh, but it is bring up GoDaddy. Uh, if you have, uh, if you guys bring this up, it actually probably shows something separate because I'm still logged into GoDaddy. That's why it's here. It's parked free, is what it says. But I'm going to go ahead. No, I'm still parked out. But see if it still remembers me. Yeah, you've registered. Now put it to work. So, what it. Basically, what it just means is I don't have a website yet. So GoDaddy's going to use this website space to advertise their own. So I'm not going to advertise this yet. Obviously, if you guys see this video, it's there. But it doesn't do anything for me yet. But in the meantime, I also want to sign up for some social media services. I'm going to do that right now. Normally, I would probably make this a separate video, especially considering I'm already 23 minutes. So I don't have a whole lot of lunch hour left to be working on this. So I'm going to jump down. I'm going to do some social media sign up but first I'm going to sign up for a gmail account so let's go to google and let's go and sign in we're going to create an account okay so again you guys know my name and lunch hour notice this is getting a little tricky hopefully it's available lunch hour is taken lunch hour web is not perfect so I can go ahead and Now, I can't leave my birthday month in. Okay, let's say January 10th, 1970. That's not actually correct. Sorry, Google. I'm not going to give you my actual birth, birth date. And uh, I put in this. So I'm going to pause here, put in my personal email address. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, back. Just signed up for it. Let's go and save that here. And yeah, thanks for creating a Google account. Use it to subscribe to channels on YouTube, video, chat for free, save favorite places, and so on. I'm really doing this just for YouTube so I can get these videos posted online here. And you guys can, uh, you obviously, you guys can watch the videos. Next, I'm going to go to Twitter. I don't use Twitter that much, and I don't plan on using this right away. Obviously, I have nothing to be 
tweeting about. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up for this service as well. Paul Stevens, and we're going to do launch our web at gmail.com. I'm going to switch this at some point. I'm going to switch this to be, uh, you know, maybe Paul at lunchourweb.com. But for now, I have the Gmail account signed up. Let's go ahead and I'm not going to tailor a Twitter. I'm going to sign up for this. All right, enter my phone number. I'm not going to do this now. I might do this later. Lunch our whoops. Lunch our web. Oh, this has already been taken. Hmm. Did it did did I already did I already do that? Do 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 do. I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sign up for any of this stuff. No, I'm not gonna import any contacts. And some of the stuff must know where I'm at. A lot of Iowa Hawkeye, Ashton Kutcher, Luke Bryan. Nah, I'm not going to sign up for any of those. I am not going to select anybody. It's going to set up Twitter for me. And let's see. Paul at lunchourweb.com. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just edit this profile a little bit here. Um, let's, let's change the name to Lunch Our Web. At lunch our web, we can think, change our theme color, change our birthday, change any of this stuff. I'm not going to worry about that yet. I don't have a logo to put up here. I don't have any colors put up here yet. And let's go ahead and exit out of here. Next, we'll go to Instagram. And here we go. Lunch our web gmail.com lunch our web give it a password we're gonna sign up perfect not taken that's what I wanted to see and that's why I'm signing up for these today uh, let's go ahead and save that what we're not what I don't want to do is wait on this someone else signs up for Instagram someone signs else signs up for Twitter and I don't get the username that I want Facebook is a little bit different because Facebook doesn't have usernames it does have you know facebook.com slash lunch hour web which some of us could take I guess please don't guys I'm not doing that yet but it is possible there are other social media platforms out there such as well I haven't used it much but let's try Periscope is this the right one yeah. yeah let's go to Periscope Periscope what else allows you to do it allows you to do live videos where people can join your Periscope blog and they can watch you as you go you know this might be something you might get interested in later I'm not interested in it right now but it doesn't mean that I can't do it looks like I'm gonna have to sign up through a smartphone to do that so I won't do that right now watch the video oh, no. Oh, you guys can watch that video if you want. There are other social media platforms out there that we can sign up for. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, for right now, we have YouTube, we have uh, Google Groups, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are enough for now. Let's go and bring up our Word doc. Got Gmail. Got social media. And next, we'll probably look at logo and color scheme. So guys, stick with me. Uh, hopefully, next few days, I'll get this video out, and we'll keep moving along. Appreciate it. If you have any thoughts, comments, please leave them below on the video. Please let me know, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.